Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Xguider. Doing another commentary for you guys, and today I'm bringing you. Um, I don't know if it should be a series. You guys leave me in the comments because this might help your game out a lot. But it's almost like a map analysis for MLG variant maps on Modern Warfare 3. Now I know Dome has been confirmed by just a bunch of people. Uh, not Sundance and all of them, but, you know, a lot of people have been playing Dome, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to say it just has to be a variant map, no doubt about it. And uh, if you guys really do enjoy this series, maybe I'll do another map or something. But for now, I'm going to go over Dome, see how you guys like it. But uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, uh, I'll see you in the next segment of this video. So here... We have uh, the first segment of this video, which is basically the callouts. I'll go over maybe some nade spots and some uh, line of sights maybe in the future. But right now, I'm going to go over the callout for this map. Now, this first one has to be vacant uh, because just basically because it is almost a vacant or like a lot. And uh, it can't be called satellite because there's satellite over there. But uh, that's in uh, another segment of the video. And uh, this whole area right here is just vacant in general lot. So well, let's go into the next part of the series. This next part of the video, uh, this call out is called uh, Satellite. Now let's go on to, whoa, what, what the fuck? So this is called Bottom Dome. And then that up there is called Top Dome. It can be called Rails as well. But for the most part, everybody likes to call it Top and Bottom Dome. Now this area can be called uh, desert well it actually be can be called forklift I like to call it forklift because it's just a, just forklift right here if you call it vacant um, you might get confused with the other call out and uh, over here is underground or computers uh, because of all the computers that are over here uh, let's go up here now this is desert um, basically it's pretty self-explanatory it's like almost a desert whoa and uh, this huge uh, monster over here is a tank. And uh, over here, this whole area, I have to say, is mid-alley. Uh, same, same goes over here. It can be called barrels. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, tank, underground, and then that's tunnel. Over here are main jeeps, which, in which uh, <laughs> not used too much, but still a lot of people like to head glitch. Um... Now, this is called box office, this whole area kind of uh, office, because it's just pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you can look overview this whole thing and uh, just know that somebody is going to be there and you can see f uh, see them easily. Now, this whole thing, as you can see, is a hallway, which is basically the call-out. Now, this can be called loading dock. I remember when I first played uh, Scrims, this was called loading dock. And uh, I have to say... It can be called loading dock or blue because this thing is blue. <laughs> and so yeah, as I said, this is a container. This is mid alley. I have gone through all the callouts, guys. If you ever, if you need more help, uh, just rewind the video, and uh, you'll know the next calls. But for now, let's move on to the next segment of this video. So now uh, we're gonna go over power position, or no, actually, little secret hidden spots in this kind of uh, map. And uh, if you look down here, it's kind of like a lot of people like to come out through bottom dome. And uh, you can easily just wall bang it while nobody's uh, just looking. You can kind of just peek and then somebody pops out shooting your weapon, you know, like a boss. Same thing goes for here. You kind of uh, jump, shoot people, shoot the barrels. Uh, you can wall bang the barrel. And uh, just a quick little spot. And uh, I'll show you the last uh, hit spot in this map. Now this last hidden spot kind of looks towards two positions or kind of like three positions but when the flag is at your base, which by the way capture the flag is the variant on this map, didn't mention that but now you know, <laughs> but when you're under the, when you go under these jeeps you can actually see underground and uh, you can actually turn around and you can see towards that mid alley, poke some people out then you can come into this head glitch, shoot some face and uh, just rape. Instant, instantaneous rape but uh, now I guess we're gonna move on to power positions and there are a lot uh, quite a few in this map now this first power position is over here in top dome and uh, as you can see um, it is kind of a basic kind of power position but you know you can see just around the whole area of the map watch kind of maybe the spawns if you're that kind of slayer but you are at the same time kind of open but you know 
you can still get some people off and uh, kind of sacrifice yourself. But uh, let's move on to the next power position. Now this next power position is a pretty useful one. You can look uh, underground. And you can also look mid alley. When your flag is bottom dome, you can actually just get these cutoffs nice and easy because the biggest cutoff in this map when uh, you have bottom dome on the bad side is actually holding down this area, watching that area towards there. Throw some stuns over there, you know. Watch underground as well if somebody tries to flank off or something like that. But uh, let's move on to the next power position. This next power position is uh, when your flag is over here um, and uh, you're trying to get this cut off. I'm just the power positions are majorly uh, off cutoffs or spawn. And so uh, when you hit a glitch, uh, the, these barrels, it's kind of hard for you to be a target. Just shoot, just shoot, and you know, get them off spawn, getting these cutoffs. And uh, let's move on to the second power position. Now, this next power position is by main jeeps. And uh, as you can see, you're kind of watching towards mid alley. And uh, where they spawn when you're defending this side of when it's your flag. And uh, you can easily see mid alley and uh, my secret little spot, which you can watch underground and uh, middle at the same time. And uh, just go over two in one segment. But mid alley is also a power position. You can just watch them kind of all spawn, help the person that's in the hallway, uh, just get, get a little bit of support with them. But uh, so basically, let's move on. So this nade spot section of the video, there's only a couple nades, guys. But, uh, you know, nades are nades, right? They're just kind of basic nades. But, uh, so this first nade that I'm going to show you is kind of like a cutoff nade in which you can just, uh, just nade and then cut the flag off, you know, just stop the flag, just kind of stalling. But you kind of hold it for a couple clicks, you know, just uh, not too far, but I'm going to kind of slow it down for you guys to show you. Kind of uh, just... Fold the nade, it hits right uh, after red crate, and it just uh, explodes right then and there. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the next nade. So this next nade is kind of like a cutoff nade, like the first one. And it's kind of a basic one, kind of a dumb one to put in this video. But, hey, you know, I didn't have too many nade spots, so fuck you. So here it is, you kind of just get behind this main jeep, and uh, you just kind of just let it go. Kind of release it as, uh, as soon as you pop it open you just pry it open easy as hell then you just throw it towards the cave area lens right in this corner if someone is in tunnel you know uh you can kind of just cut them off the, if they're going around the corner nades in this game i'm gonna have to say are kind of weak but uh let's move on to the next and final nade of this video so this final nade but not least um is over here where you're by forklift and you're just kind of uh you kind of hold your nade like below no, I mean above the red crate, and it kind of gets like a cutoff nade for all you players who want to just cut them off. You know, that's what we all do. But uh, you just kind of get above the crate, you release it. God, release the nade. So uh, it goes, goes, and goes. And then it heads over to blue, kind of explodes, and uh, gets the cutoff. So uh, let's move on to this final section of the video, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of an episode, and it's kind of a new thing to me. So uh, I really worked hard on this video, guys, and uh, if you could leave a like rating and subscribe, that really does help out the channel a lot. And if you're new to this uh, whole x Gadda channel, uh, please subscribe. I mean, I do competitive gaming and all that stuff, you know, kind of uh, just in there. But uh, I guess I have to say this is maybe the first breakdowns of um, MLG variant. I know uh, other people... Might have done it, but, you know, I haven't met those people yet. But, uh, yeah, as I've said, guys, please do subscribe. I really worked hard on this video. But, uh, yeah, leave me in the comments, guys. What did you guys think of this series? Because Of this episode, I mean. Because uh, I work hard on this series. And uh, it's a lot of work. Trust me, it is as a commentator. I do have to say it's a lot of work. But, uh, you know, I did it all for you guys. Wasting my time. Time and money. Time, blood, and sweat. But, uh, anyways, guys, this has been your boy, X-Guider, and, uh, I'm out. Peace.